So first what you want to do is get your reel of addressable LEDs. You'll notice it's three pin. These are the WS uh, 2812Bs, I believe. And um, they're addressable. So you'll see a ground, a DN, which is the data pin. And then you'll see a plus five volt. And then you'll see an arrow pointing. So that arrow means the direction that the current is going to flow. Now, if you want to make an array, as you can see, um, I'll show you why I choose this top left corner to be my input. But you can see this is my input. So the arrow has to face this way. And in the code, it will say in the code, it will say zigzag. But what it really means is a daisy chain. So it's like a snake trail. So as you'll notice up here, it goes up to here and then I would have to have this connected to this next one and you see the arrow goes the other way now so it'll be something like this but up there and then once you do that up there you do this from the second one to this third one and then you follow that back in the code you'll need to know how many rows and columns so you actually just need to know how many rows you're gonna have. So I have 25 LEDs per strip and I have 10 rows. So that will be important in the code. Let me show you again what it looks like this. Now this way I'll put up, so as you notice that the plus five here or closest so that's going to be a small wire that you need to solder and then the next one the dn is it has to be a little bigger so you can reach around so since i once i put in the letters and there was it was only displaying on seven rows i decided to cut out the other three so for seven i'm gonna need six of each with the outers having three smalls and three bigs because as you go in a zigzag sometimes they end up in the center sometimes the inner part and then sometimes they end up in the outer part so you're going to need a total of three bigger grounds three smaller grounds three little five volt three bigger five volt and the data always stays in the middle so the data is a little bit smaller than the bigger pieces and the smaller pieces are smaller than the green. So you're going to need six of each for seven rows. So as you can see, going through my first run, the red wire is closest to the inner part. So that's I'm cutting. See how I cut the ends off. I use the 22. It works well, just a tiny little bit. And then the middle and then I'm using a bigger because it's the ground's going to be on the outer. So I'm going to solder these and then I'll probably apply silicones to make it waterproof again. But for now, I want to make sure I get a good connection and we're going to hook this up. So let's take a look at the code that's there um, in the library. I'll, I'll, in the description, I will put which ones you need to, uh, which libraries you need to download. So right here, you will go to, let's say you go... You go to tools, you will go to manage libraries. So you're going to want to make sure that you have the uh, Adafruit NeoPixel downloaded, the NeoMatrix downloaded, and also the Adafruit GFX library. Once you have those, then you can go to file, example, You'll go down here and you'll click on matrix test. So the matrix test is initially um, how I've set up my LEDs and uh, I have the WS2812Bs um, or if you have the 11s, the old generation, you will keep this at 800 kilohertz. Um, you've defined a pin nine, that's the digital pin nine on my Arduino Nano if you have you can set it on a digital pin with uh, on your Arduino Uno 
if you have that um, the 25 is how many LEDs I have per strip and then I have 10 rows so I don't have 10 rows anymore I have only seven um, the pin right here is the pin you've declared up there so these are the three colors that are going to be scrolling through so as you can I will put a link to this website you choose your RGB color so I like this orange it's a 240 the first ones 246 161 15 so here I've done that the next one's going to be green because it's 02550 and then the last one is blue and you have this text wrap that's going through um, so right here is where you're going to be putting the words now in the NeoPixel every letter takes up six bits uh, horizontally it's five for the letter and then it is um, one more for the space in between each letter so that you can e read each letter so for this let's say hello is five world is five and then there's a space so this the space is actually gonna take up six bits as well so what you can do is if you technically just left it like this it will leave a tiny little space but I'm gonna leave that space so this is 5 and 5 that's 10 plus another one that's 11 6 bits each that's going to be 66 so this number right here needs to be greater than 66 so I've rounded it off to 70 um, and then right here is the delay it's uh, by default I think it was at 100 it's a little bit slow um, 75 is good but I'm gonna go actually 70 that's the delay how fast it scrolls from right to left and then everything else looks good a lot of people say why aren't all my letters showing and that's why it's because this number needs to be changed accordingly every letter takes up six bits so including a space the brightness is good on 40 you don't want it too bright too much power consumption and yeah so I'm gonna and here's another thing I'm doing the nano but it's a Chinese version so when you go to device manager you go under ports and you connect it you want to install this driver you can google it it's the CH340 driver I might I'll put a link to it as well and then you're going to make sure to see which com that is so mine is on com 9 so when I go to tools I'm going to make sure I'm on port com 9 and then I'm going to make sure I'm on the old bootloader this is for the Chinese version I'm sure the original you can just use the regular because they're using an original at mega 328p so for this Chinese version I'm going to use this bootloader and then if you have an UNO you just choose UNO so everything else is set up I'm gonna go ahead and compile it into my Arduino and then we're gonna go over to my matrix and see how it looks so it's done compiling let's go over to the matrix Arduino Nano hooked up I have it on digital pin 9 the plus 5 volt in the ground so as you can see it scrolls at a very decent speed this is the last one set to blue and then now my orange color that I set is there you can't really tell it's orange but it is that orange color so it's saying hello world and as you can notice there's one LED that's turned off in between each letter and if you count it it's five bits per letter plus the extra space so that's six bits wide i have 25 leds and i have seven and i have it on the top left hooked up to digital pin 9 ground and plus 5 volt hooked up to a micro usb and as you can see i have them hooked up in a daisy chain and you follow the arrows and you can make a sign like this it's pretty neat so what I've also noticed is if you need a G the G so the G will technically start from this right here 
so you might need an extra three so you might need to make it 10 and in the code you just change that second number where i showed you just change that from a seven back to a 10 and then you'll be able to display g's but as you can see the o's are there so the g needs another three so if you did it by 10 you can show all letters so hope this video was helpful and you can start your project soon